In this video, we are going to look at how you guys judge yesterday's Ultimate Dog Championship contest to determine the best guard dog breed for first-time owners between the Bull Mastiff and the Pitbull. We're going to see if you guys judged it the same way that I did, if we were a little bit different, or if we were miles apart. Welcome back to the K9 Show. My name's Will. I'm a behaviorist, and on this channel, I make videos just like this one to better educate people all about these amazing dog breeds. So, if you are new here, please consider subscribing. But without further ado, we're going to get straight into today's video of comparing your guys' results against my results. So, if uh, you haven't seen the video yet, I scored the contest 3 2 to the Bull Mastiff. We had five rounds, and if you've not voted before, every time I'm judging the rounds in the contest, you guys can also vote for you, uh, do your judging as well so every time i'm judging a little card will pop up in the top right and you guys will be able to vote on which round which dog you think wins that round and then we'll be able to compare them to my own in these live streams moving forward so we're going to uh, we are going to have a little look but we just need to pull i need to pull up the cards for the contest so that we can have a, a little deep dive now as always and how it's going to be i literally have no idea i've not checked the cards i've not seen how you guys have voted so what we're going to do is we're going to have a look for the first time together so you're going to get my reaction and then we'll have a little bit of a chat between each one so without further ado let's get straight into it so what i'm going to do is we're going to jump over to my screen so you should be able to see my screen now and now we're in the back end of my youtube channel now like i say if you've never seen these cards before you'll see this little eye icon in the top right hand corner of your screen and then when i'm judging the contest that'll pop out like a little card you can tap on it if you're watching it on a device or you can click on it if you're on your computer and then you just cast your votes dead simple doesn't take you to another website it's all inbuilt in youtube and what that lets me do is it lets me have a look at how you guys judge the contest so what we can do we'll start off with round one which like i say if you don't remember or you haven't seen the contest you can go away and have a little look at it but round one was temperament as obviously for first time owners temperament is a very important thing so we're gonna have a little look so we can look at the poll results i chose the bull mastiff in this and well overwhelmingly it looks like you guys completely agree with me that might be the biggest uh, percentage difference we've had in these contests since we've been doing these uh, live stream polls so i'm gonna make a note of that because in the last video i will completely admit before we talk about this that's probably a good thing to discuss i know that in the last video a few guys you emailed me because i was trying to do this live stream and running it and live streams are really new to me and managing all this software and my notes and never is quite complicated and i said that you guys agreed that the Connie Corso won that contest 3-2 but actually you thought that the Rottweiler won 3-2 so that was my mistake uh, but I'm going to make notes to make sure that doesn't happen again but we'll go back into the uh, the YouTube screen and you can see that 78% of you agreed that the Bull Mastiff does have the better temperament than the Pitbull and 21% of you thought that the Pitbull has uh, the best temperament now um, that is what it is it's uh, I again I, I thought it was fairly conclusive I'm not overly surprised by that um, I would say that with people they probably do have a fairly similar temperament even with people I would lean towards the bull mastiff having the slightly more loving gentle temperament than the pit bull just because the pit bull's a bit more feisty and lively and, and eager whereas the bull mastiff's a bit more laid back and and cuddly with their owners not to say that the pit bull isn't of course um, but like I the point I made when I was judging is that I do think the pit bull um, high high levels of prey drive do make their temperament with other animals much less so than the bull mastiff's temperament the bull mastiff again is very gentle with other animals it doesn't really have a high prey drive it's super content to be chilled with other animals especially if you socialize it well whereas the pit bull you have to make a conscious effort to really train and socialize that prey drive out of them as if you ignore it you're going to have probably quite an aggressive dog towards other animals, which obviously isn't ideal. And it seems like I would guess that that's probably why you guys voted for the Bull Mastiff. If you voted to the Bull Mastiff for another reason, please feel free to drop me an email. As always, uh, my email address for comments and questions and queries like that is down in the description box. So please feel free to email me. But let's have a look and we'll dive straight into round number two. So we'll go back to my computer screen. Uh, we'll close off round one and round number two was the intimidation factor now the look at that for a horrible freeze frame let's move on to this one and hope that it's not as bad that's pretty much just as bad so let's cover it up so the intimidation factor and again i went with the bull mastiff so 
Not as much of a landslide here, but again, seems that you guys agreed with me. 67% of you agreeing that the Bull Mastiff has the higher intimidation factor, but a good 32% of you believing that the Pitbull has the higher intimidation factor. Now, again, like I mentioned yesterday, I don't actually think that that's necessarily as clear cut as uh, you might think. I think if you put the breed side by side with zero kind of social bias towards either breed, I think it is fairly conclusive that the Bull Mastiff is more intimidating. But because of the bad press, especially around the Pitbull, that they're banned in lots of countries, including here in the UK, and just that bad media and coverage that they get, that does make people, when they see them, automatically automatically jump to oh dangerous aggressive scary um and then the, the intimidation builds kind of even without taking into account the looks if that makes sense so i did i was interested in this round and how you guys would judge it and i think that um like i say just that that size and mass difference between the bull mastiff and the pit bull if you removed everything else I would probably I would make a strong argument that the bull mastiff is more intimidating. Yet you add in, obviously, I'm not telling you we should ignore those things. I do think we should take into account different social and cultural biases towards these breeds, uh, and I think that's why so many. That's why I personally didn't think that it was so easy to judge. And it seems uh, a lot of you have uh, voted for the pit bull there. So, um, like I say again, I'm I'm not overly surprised with that. That's. Uh, probably about where i thought it would be and i wouldn't have been surprised if the pitbull had earned some more votes so there we go though but so far we're two from two with agreeing with each other which is always nice now let's jump back and we'll go into round number three which is the natural guarding skills now natural guarding skills and intimidation factor before we show you the results um let me jump back and we'll have a little chat about this because i think sometimes I might not get this point across very well. But when we're talking about guard dog breeds, I think it's easy for us to think about police guarding and military guarding and those insane levels of bite on command and bark on command and run down on command and getting in between you and all the amazing things that protection dogs can do. But I, I strongly believe that for the vast majority of people, you don't need those things in terms of having a good guard dog. What you want is to actually have a very stable, relaxed, calm confident well-mannered well-socialized dog that in 99.99 percent of scenarios is just a lovely canine companion and in that 0.01 percent scenario where something might happen because let's face it most of us living in the first world countries threats aren't that common um I've only really ever had of the year four years I had my bull mastiff. There was one time where I needed her for a garden skills, and she came through amazingly. Didn't need any formal protection training. She was just acted on instinct, and that's what this is about. Intimidation tries to scare people away in the first place, and that by far is probably the best solution, and will stop again the majority of these bad situations happening purely if you have an intimidating dog but if those bad situations still move forward then you just want a dog that will naturally act if need be so that's kind of what when i talk about a guard dog for first time owners first time owners shouldn't really be delving into the world of ipo or protection training um and i would strongly recommend that they have somebody do that for them if they have a legitimate reason for needing that dog but if you just want a companion dog you want a pet dog that lives with you and your family in your home that also happens to be a good guardian if you need it that's where these kind of rounds come in so enough blabbering on but that's that's i thought was important to mention before we do check out round three so we'll go to round three that's uh, these freeze frames are going to probably become a bit of a comedy part of this that's another terrible one so let's cover up my ugly mug and dive into the natural garden skills where i went with the bull mastiff and again you guys seem to strongly agree with me on this one 76 percent of you agree that the bull mastiff has the better natural guarding skills with the pit bull coming in at just 23 percent of you voting for the pit bull um again like I just mentioned, we don't probably need to spend that much time on it here. We talked about it a lot in the video yesterday, so you can obviously go back and watch that. But the Bull Mastiff has guarding in its blood from day one. Guarding is what it does. Guarding is what it loves to do. Guarding is pretty much all it knows to do. It knows to be a loving, gentle family member that will protect them at any cost. Now, don't get me wrong, a pit bull will do that, but a pit bull has more terrier in it. It's more of a working dog, and obviously, um, I don't think it's a dangerous dog by any means, but its lineage is different. Its lineage comes more from blood sports involving fighting other dogs, uh, uh, other animals, attacking other animals, 
more so than protecting people and guarding people so the, the there's tons of people that have got amazing results from using pit bulls as protection and guardian dogs don't get me wrong they are superb because they have got a, an amazing training capability that we'll discuss in a minute but in terms of natural guarding skills i'm glad that we both agree uh, you guys agree with myself on this one that the bull mastiff is the superior choice here so um i'm just going to quickly check that the live stream's still up and i'm not talking to myself youtube tells me that it is so that's excellent i hope you guys are enjoying it if you are enjoying these live streams please just take one second to click that like button i really appreciate it when you do and if you've got any comments again you can email me especially with comments still being a nightmare i do like i mentioned in the last stream i do think i'll be able to get live comments on these live streams before i'll be able to get comments back on my normal videos so if you want more information about why i haven't got any comments and you're new to the channel i've banged on about it loads but that is down in the description box but let, let's move on to round four we'll go back to my screen so you guys can see it for yourself round four was health and life expectancy and again i discussed in the intro video why that this round is so important to me it might not seem obvious at the time but if you do want more information on why i include this round in these competitions you can go and watch that video and it'll explain it in much more detail but let's see what the horrible freeze frame of me is on round four that is pretty bad pouty lips that would uh I don't think I have any future in being an Instagram model by any uh, means, but let's have a look at how I judge this one for the pit bull. Um, and again, biggest landslide yet. 88% of you agree that the pit bull does have the better health and life expectancy, with just 11% of you thinking that uh, the bull mastiff does. Again, not surprised at all. Any long-time viewers will know what happened with my bull mastiff at just four years old. I know countless people since I've discuss that story i've had loads of you guys email me with similar stories about your bull mastiffs they are not by any means a healthy breed the pit bull suffers from a few hereditary health issues like all animals do all breeds do but as a whole they are very robust healthy dogs they've been the way that they've been bred even though it's been a little bit all over the place and some breeding practices better than others as a whole with some of the mixtures of different breeds it's kind of brought out the best of those breeds and they are a very healthy robust dog so no need to spend any more time on this one really um it is what it is i'm surprised actually that 11 percent of you thought that the bull mastiff had the better health and life it's expectancy maybe that might be um, a little bit of super bull mastiff bias coming out there but if any of you 11 percent or 23 people of you guys that voted for the bull mastiff here please feel free if you disagree with me and you've got a legitimate reason again use that email address i would love to hear it in case i uh, missed something that i wasn't aware of but there we go so we are amazingly we are four from four you guys have agreed with all four rounds so far so let's go into the fifth round which was ease of training now ease of training um again there's going to always be some subjective elements and there's going to be some bias and there's going to be some examples of being amazing obedience and poor obedience from both breeds and sometimes that will influence people's bias especially if they don't have as much experience or if they haven't researched it an extensive length i get that but as a whole i went with the pit bull having the superior intelligence and the not intelligence that that's uh, that was a different tournament we're talking about ease of training here because for first time owners they need to be easy dogs to train. The majority, the reason why these guarding breeds get such a bad rap in the first place is because a lot of people come into wanting a guard dog, sometimes for the right reasons, sometimes unfortunately for the wrong reasons, um, and their lack of experience means that they get the training wrong. Now, if you get the training wrong with a dog like a Yorkshire Terrier or a Chihuahua, uh, you're just going to have a yappy, annoying dog. You do those same mistakes with a Rottweiler or a Bull Mastiff or a Pitbull, and the results aren't just yappy and annoying they're often very dangerous now that's why these these breeds tend to get a worse reputation which is not necessarily unfounded it's kind of makes sense if their their potential for what they're capable of doing should you get it wrong is much higher now it doesn't mean that they're easier to get it wrong or they're more aggressive but we have to have to have to can't stress it enough take this really seriously you um, if you're gonna have a guard dog breed you have to train it well you have to socialize it well and you have to make sure it's got good manners for it to be a well-behaved obedient and safe dog in all environments which is why this round for me is probably one of the most important because the easier it is for first-time owners to do that the less likely it is that they'll make mistakes. Therefore, the less likely we'll end up with dangerous dogs that end up in shelters or getting put down, which breaks my heart. So anyway, let's jump straight back into the screen catcher. Again, like I mentioned, I talked. I said that the pit bull took that uh, win. 
And let's have a look at, first of all, obviously we need to look at, okay, of all five screenshots, that's not the worst one that it could be. But let's have a little cheeky look at um, the poll results. So round five, whoa, again, overwhelming response. Um, to be honest, I'm not, um, I wasn't expecting that. I definitely thought there would be, it would be closer. So before we discuss it, thankfully we have a five from five contest where you guys not only agreed with me, but pretty much overwhelmingly agreed with me but 87 percent of you thinking the pit bull has the higher intelligent the higher ease of training that is um that's surprising I, I did not think it would be that level of uh, of a landslide i definitely thought especially with like i say i'm, I'm aware there's always going to be some bias slipping in when you when we do things like voting but um yeah overwhelmingly you guys agreed that the pit bull has the better ease of training so that's where we have to make these decisions and that's what this tournament is decided. What things do we kind of, do, does ease of training make up for the lack of temperament? They're things that we're going to discuss as we move on with this tournament to allow us to crown the best guard dog breed for first-time owners. So there we are. I won't talk about um, this ease of training much more. We went into a lot of detail in yesterday's video. So if you haven't actually seen the contest and you've stumbled onto the channel through this video, thank you so much for watching it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you click that like button. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss one of our next contests or our other videos that we've got going up multiple times every day at the minute. Things are really starting to ramp up with the channel it's super exciting with some huge projects coming but it's um yeah excited i'll be making some big announcements soon but that's 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 a topic for another video but i hope you enjoyed it i'm super pumped that we had a five from five agreement again if you've got any comment comments or queries or questions based on anything from the actual contest or in today's video you can drop me an email let me know what you want to know and i'm happy to get back to you i always answer every single email that you guys send me so um it genuinely is one of the highlights of my day is having a bit of peace and quiet and just sitting in front of my computer and just emailing you guys going back and forward trying to help you where i can help you learning from you where i can learn from you and just trying to spread the message of being better more consistent leaders for our dogs of all types including these beautiful guardian breeds so that less dogs end up in shelters and less dogs end up getting euthanized that's kind of my overarching goal um and it's super exciting and it pumps me up and it gets me um really hyped up when i talk to you guys that share similar visions so yeah it's amazing thank you so much i genuinely love every one of you i won't get super emotional like i'm starting to feel like i am getting emotional thank you so much for watching today's live stream i'll see you tonight we've got another video going live later tonight so uh, make sure you come back to the channel to check that out you can click top left for all the contests in this tournament to determine the ultimate guard dog breed for first time owners or bottom left for another one of my videos i think you will enjoy Enough banging on from me. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon on the next video.